So here's the deal. The only way to survive something like that, the only way to diversify, right, right. is to go from, let's call it, a, you know, let's call it what it is, to move from the empire out, right? They're the first company to go and successfully grab one of those one of those asteroids mm-hmm. and and be able to to gather that resource and in a way that uh they can they can make it a consumable is going to be rich behind beyond anyone's imagining no, there no, are no, things no. out there entirely made of platinum like the right. entire big huge rock the size of of you know giant stadium made out of gold and things like yeah. that out they're there. saying they're saying they're saying that asteroid mining could yield a trillion bucks an asteroid a trillion i'm just thinking like dang bro <laughs> yeah and so when you made as much money as you could possibly make where do you look you look to the technology that can get you to the next mm-hmm. money making level yeah okay and that's it that is it so scott Another question. I, I'm just far. I'm, I'm throwing questions at you, man. So oh, cool. I, I knock them out. Do you think? So I, I actually think that 2024 is about to, is like is going to be something that's going to like we ain't never going back to the way it was before. That's just my opinion. One way or the other, man. This bitch is going to is going to this ship is going to ride out, or right. or it's the Hunger Games, man. And we're, and we're winning. The this, uh, this, the Southeast is winning, right? But uh, right. What is your what 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 is your gut feeling about this disclosure? Do you do you think it's ever going to happen? Like ever going to come out and say, "Hey, look, man." I think it will, and it might be uh, what they're calling catastrophic disclosure, right? Which is really can, explain, people are just. Can you explain that they, for us? Explain that for yeah, us. Yeah, catastrophic disclosure is basically the opposite of clo- uh, control disclosure, right? Mm-hmm. So the government wants to do control disclosure, mm-hmm. where they just tell you little things here and there to, you know, satisfy you. And over time, you know, maybe increase that information. Catastrophic disclosure is pretty much people coming out, whistleblowers, and it's been like, look, this is what's going on. They're not going to wait for the government to give them permission to say, they're just going to go out there and say shit. Yeah. And I think that's where we're actually headed. Yeah. No, it's, Um, I think, yeah, Yeah. because news on this, 2024, this is, I mean, we're young in the year and this is still, it's blowing up right yeah and i think this year like you said i think we're um or at least i'm hoping that we're going to hit an area like you said a point of no return yeah right and it's going to come out one way or the other you can you can tell us uh or we're just going to you know take that information whatever way we can but it's going to come out yeah and and that's a that's a great point too is because outside of what we do for fun here when, when we, when we, no one almost like eight out of 10 people are going to come out and say, yeah, man, this something's going on. There's only the hardcore hangers honors. Like I said, are like refusing to, to admit anything. Right. Like, and so I'm just thinking to myself that if we survive this eclipse, I was telling Jay about pre-show April 8th, right. If we survive this eclipse, right. That, that go, that comes down and we're so early in the year. And and it's it's just getting hotter and hotter and rolling and rolling and rolling, and uh, I, I just don't see like no one buys it anymore. No one buys no. this shit anymore, man. And and, and and so come on, man. If it's no. if it's ours, it's ours, man. But like you know, it, we're never gonna go back to the way it was before. That's just my opinion. No, I don't think we. And what makes this tough too is that as far as what Congress is doing, which you know I think is great. I love. I absolutely love that they're really pushing this issue. I mean, that's amazing. This is the first time in history something like this is going on. Right. Um, but I think what is makes it tough for them is they have to go by, they have to go and do it by a certain set of rules, mm-hmm. right? They have to arrange these like field hearings and all this other stuff. And it's so, the, the knowledge of this is so compartmentalized, yeah. compartmentalized, like there's, there's probably only a handful of people mm-hmm. that know it. and everybody else just gets small amounts of information, not enough that they can actually 
when they when they testify, it's not that they're lying. They just don't know. Yeah, they just don't know. Right. Yeah. So I heard that's what they did with the when the invention of the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. They had a bunch oh, yeah. come in and they said, "You're in charge of doing this. You're in charge of doing this." They had no idea what they were making. Yeah. They didn't know they were making, but they were yeah, making. I mean, that's that's the definition of infosec, right? Mm -hmm. Like that is how it is done. Period. I mean, that, that's you, literally you don't the definition. Tell anybody what, what they don't need to yeah. know. That's what SCI right. stands for, Sensitive Compartment and Information. So TS slash SCI is like you're getting a slice of the pie to go in there to do it. But So fingers crossed, one way, either stock up on bows and arrows because eventually the ammo runs out, right? And then freaking <laughs> right. I'm, learn to fish. I'm leaning towards this catastrophic disclosure thing simply because uh, based on, on Congress's kind of inability to kind of do anything but uh, mm -hmm. attack TikTok mm – -hmm. Uh, I think that I, you know what, I gotta, I gotta think that these guys are not going to wait forever. They're trickling this stuff out and they're like, you guys need to start disclosing this stuff or we're going to do it. And mm -hmm. he keeps dropping stuff. I like Jeremy Corbell. I, I love <laughs> that he's everywhere right now. Cause uh, you know, somebody has got to be doing it. Right. Right. Um, me, I don't, I don't distinguish between, uh, angel devil interdimensional, mm -hmm. UAP, whatever. It's just right. a matter of uh, conveyance in my mind. How do they get here? Yeah, okay. These ones came in ships and these ones come through portals. You know, right. uh, it doesn't really matter. What matters right. is their intentions towards us, right? right? And towards our planet. All right, so Scott, um, let me throw that, throw, that, throw that to you. What do you think they are, Scott? Aliens or demons? See, I don't know if I think they're demons. Mm -hmm. Um, necessarily, although there's, there's stories, you know, um, Diana Polsoka, she is a, you know, a religious professor. Mm -hmm. I think, um, she's Catholic herself. And she talked about a story where there was a saint, uh, Saint Teresa of Avila, I want to say her name was, who in her diary wrote that she had an encounter with an angel. Okay. Cause that's the context she has being a nun, mm -hmm. right? She, she had an encounter with an angel. The angel was childlike, right? So when you hear about greys, they're about three feet tall, say. Uh, and this angel, quote unquote angel, what she wrote in her diary, according to Diana Fosoka, was that the, this angel had a wand type device and it shoved it into her entrails. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Okay. That doesn't sound like angel behavior to me. No, for sure. <laughs> and that sounds a lot like aliens doing genetic experiments on somebody yeah. or some type of experiments. So, and that goes down in the Catholic religion as, you know, it was an angel encounter. Subscribe now and turn on the notifications to join us on this extraordinary journey into the unknown.